There is no charge for awesomeness. Hi everybody, Guru Bob, and welcome to day 16 of the 30 day challenge. Thought I'd do a video uh, giving you a few updates on WordPress Direct. The, uh, the guys over there at WordPress Direct have been working very, very hard to um, sort out bugs and fix some issues, and also add some uh, functional improvements in the, um, in the service which I, I thought it was time to do a, a bit of an update video for you also you can sort of get uh, get a bit of a look at some of those uh, that you might want to use um, as you go forward with your activities. Uh, so the first thing I wanted to show is that there is now a new login page. Uh, WordPressDirect.com forward slash login um, and we'd like you to use that page uh, if possible and bookmark that if you're coming into WordPress Direct um, because go and have a look at that page on the left hand side here you can see that if there are any sort of important news items or uh, or, or, or news releases that uh, the WordPress Direct support team want to communicate to you then they're going to be published here on this page on the left hand side and of course we've got the um, uh, the login sort of area over here on the right so I'm just going to quickly log in now uh, into our account and talk about a some of the changes that uh, have taken place. Um, first thing we'll do I think is we'll go over to the website settings area and you will notice now that there is a uh, underneath the website address there is now a place where you can actually put in a brief description of 30 words or less. The reason why we have done this is that the all-in-one SEO plugin that uh, sits uh, that it has been sort of published to all of your blogs does a very good job of creating default dis meta description tags for your post pages but in order for it to create a meta description tag for your home page then it requires a default description and this box here is where you can actually put that default description um, I do suggest that you do put, uh, put a default description in for your blog because as as you can see here in the um, search engine results pages now that Google uses that default meta description often to publish the short description of your site in the search engine results pages. Um, so you can see that that little description there is the same as the meta description that we put in into this box here. And it only took Google a couple of days to come back and recache the site and uh, and use that description. So that's the first thing. The other thing is, is that whatever keywords that you put into your um, into your category list here, and your website keywords, uh, they are now being published on the home page as your meta keyword tags. Um, so if we go back to the blog here, and we look at um, we do a view source, you can see that there's a meta description here, which is the, what we've just discussed before, and the meta keywords here now are the same as the category keywords. On, uh, in the website settings area of WordPress Direct. So that's a, a, a little bit of an SEO enhancement that, um, that we've made or WordPress Direct guys have made to this service, um, which should mean now that, um, it, yes, if, if, if you did a SEO competition analysis on your particular blog, then all of your on-page factors should indicate yes, and if you've indeed put your keyword into the uh, into the URL on the title and the description and so forth. So that's um, that's one thing that's that's changed. Now the other thing that's changed here is that you can see that um, in the website settings your theme is being now uh, communicated to you, whichever uh, theme you've chosen it's communicated to. If you click on the theme information button here then it will take you to the specific theme page for um, for the theme that you've chosen and if you have a problem with your theme then we'd like you to click on report theme problem here and if you if you feel uh, so inclined make a comment here about what the problem is um, everybody that uses this theme gets to see these comments so if you if you believe that um, a theme has a particular issue in a certain you know in a certain respect then you can communicate that here but if you believe that the theme needs to be addressed by the WordPress support team then click on report theme problem here. Um, you can also from your website settings area click on change theme and that will take you to the theme gallery 
which will allow you to select a new theme and then publish that or install that on your on your blog installation. So that uh, makes it easier for you to um, uh, report themes and so forth. The WordPress direct people have, have requested that you use this option so click on theme information and then report a theme to report any theme problems rather than sending a support ticket to the general support area. If you would. Now you'll notice that there is a new um, button here at the top here, Manage Plugins. Now in some cases, uh, in, in certain blogs, when you were uh, adding new content to your blog, it was um, some of your plugins were being deactivated by that process. The WordPress Direct support team have, a, have assured me that most of those problems have been solved now, that uh, that does not happen anymore. But uh, this interface here allows you to activate or deactivate plugins that, that, uh, that have been installed on your blog from within this interface, which means that um, if you've noticed something not working and it may be because a plugin's been disabled, then you can activate that plugin by clicking on Activate Plugin here. Now, over in the Right Post module, there is also a new um, facility. You might recall from the uh, the Add Sale Offer widget, you were able to uh, upload an image uh, into the Sale Offer um, text area. Well, in the Right Post area, that same facility has now been made available. So, you underneath the uh, the, the posting area here, you can see that we we can either select an image URL or we can upload an image um, from our computer you can select the image here and once you've selected the image you can click insert image and that will insert the image into the post area here works exactly the same as the sale offer widget in that regard and it makes it very easy for you to add images into your posts if you choose to do so I just want to make uh, reference to a, um, a facility that has been added into your manage post area. I don't necessarily want you to use this now, um, but we will be suggesting uh, and, and sort of showing you how to use this later on in the challenge. Um, but, but seeing I've, I'm doing a bit of an update here on WordPress Direct, I thought I'd mention it. You can see here that um, alongside each of your posts, there is now a new option which says make it sticky. And this relates to a plugin a sticky post plugin which allows you to nominate uh, posts which you always want to appear um, at the uh, 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 at the beginning of the blog so at the top of the blog um, so if you've actually created a, a post that might be specifically promoting something or it's something that you want people to see the first always when they come to the blog um, uh, for the first time or, for, or on return visits then that post will always appear at the top of the post list um, and you can see that I have um, nominated the the main the first post that we did on the Vintage Electric Guitar blog as a sticky post, so that always appears first. Even if I add posts which have a younger date, then this post will always appear at the top of the list. Okay, that's it for the WordPress Direct update. Um, I I think. WordPress Direct has proven to be quite a success for most people in the 30-day challenge and we're very, very happy that, um, that that service has been made available to us this year. It makes it very, very easy to publish a WordPress blog and also to manage your posting and, and quite a lot of the functionality that, um, that is offered through that uh, blog installation via plugins. Uh, one thing I would say for new people or people that aren't, aren't um, Particularly knowledgeable about hosting and so forth. Do remember that when you actually acquire a domain for the first time and set that up in your host, that it does take you know, upwards of 24 hours before that your domain is propagated through all the DNS servers uh, on the internet, which means that whilst that is, is happening, then of course WordPress Direct might not be able to connect with your domain name uh, because the, uh, the, the DNS servers haven't been updated yet. Um, so sometimes if you've acquired a domain name and if, if WordPress is having a problem interfacing with that, then it may just be that you need to wait 24 hours or so before, uh, before that happens and then everything should be fine. Um, please make use of the WordPress Direct Support Help Ticket System um, if you've got any issues. Um, 
they they are doing a wonderful job there and they'll get back to you as soon as they can to assist you with your issues one thing that um, they have been telling me though is that um, there are a very large number of tickets for which um, they have responded to a user issue and they're awaiting client feedback um, on that support ticket request so if you have submitted a support ticket then um, please check that um, you haven't already received a response from the WordPress Direct support team and um, respond back to them um, giving them the information that they've requested. Alright that's it for now. Um, tomorrow it's a bit of a rest day. This is one very brief optional video. Um, I hope you're enjoying the 30-day challenge and you're getting a lot out of it. Um, it's certainly a pleasure for us to be able to make to do this for, for everybody and I'm enjoying getting the feedback that we're, that we're receiving. There is no charge for awesomeness.